What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more Dallas Mavericks news to be talking about with you guys. It is currently being reported right now that the Dallas Mavericks have officially signed Frank Nelikina to I believe what looks to be a one year deal now at this point. This is all being reported by Mark Stein. Now again, a couple, there's been a lot of funny comments that have kind of come out of this. Somehow, people have been spamming W for the Knicks. Like, <laughs> it doesn't, like, the Knicks didn't lose anything. Like, I guess, like, they just lost Frank Nilekina. So, I'm not too sure. People are saying that there's now called the, you know, the Dallas Knicks. So, that's that as well. People are saying that Luca finally got some help. Hey, I'm, I'm not too sure. Frank Nilekina is a. He's an interesting player. Like, I, I genuinely believe Nilekina could be, like, a, a pretty decent player. Before I get, like, all into my main thoughts and opinions and whatnot, you know, into it, me and my mate actually discussed this on my CHB podcast. This is a little clip from that that I don't think I'll be uploading. If you guys would like to go and check out all my CHB, you know, podcast clips, you know, where we talk about a bunch of different NBA content, all that stuff, I will link the channel in the description down below, please go and subscribe to it, you know, leave a like in some of the videos, comment that, maybe you're from here. But yeah, I guess without further ado, let's roll the clip. But, you know, another a signing that happened recently was Dallas and Frank Nilekina. <laughs> How much does Frank Nilekina help the Dallas Mavericks, do you reckon? I mean, we when he first came into the league, we thought he could be a really great player, and he just hasn't gotten that much better to be honest yeah uh i'm i'm not sure what he'll bring hopefully he can turn into a great player for them off the bench but yeah i i mean it's not a terrible signing we'll just see how it plays out yeah well there's no like fault of having him as like a 11th to exactly. 15th man like he's probably not going to get minutes but when they need a defender dude he'll probably come on like what, what are their backup point guards like yeah I don't even remember. Is Jalen Brunson still on the team? Like, did he go elsewhere? Yeah, Brunson's definitely still yeah. there. And Brunson's solid. Yeah, Trey Burke. Like, these guys are just scoring point guards off the bench. It's good to get a defender in, I suppose, that can maybe guard the one and the two, which I guess Nilekina yeah, he'll, can do. He'll definitely help on the defensive side for mm. the Mavs, which, I mean, they they probably they probably definitely need, actually. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how many minutes he'll play, but he'll definitely be someone they can go to. Uh, I could see him on the floor with Luca, like, even down the stretch of games, if they need someone to guard that point guard, uh, hopefully uh, he earns enough trust to be on there for them. I can't see why, you know, he, he... Like, yeah, again, as you just said, like, why wouldn't they give him minutes if they need someone like him? Like, let's just say they're getting torched up by James Harden. I'm pretty sure Jalen Brunson is... Not going to be able to help oh, yeah, that. You... Like, just putting Nilla Kena on, see what he does. Yeah, hopefully he earns uh, that much faith for them to put him on in those situations. But yeah, you'd certainly rather him on a big-name superstar down the stretch than, say, Trey Burke. So yeah, the Dallas Mavericks and, you know, Frank Nilla Kena, the kind of the take out of that and what we spoke about is, yeah, there, there's no reason why Nilla Kena couldn't be a good 11th to 15th man on the Dallas Mavericks. Legitimately no reason whatsoever. He could come in and be a really nice defender. I'm pretty sure Trey Burke is not going to be able to guard a dude like James Harden. They don't really seem to have many good defenders at that guard position. Like, Luke is not a great defender. Burke isn't as well. Neither is Brunson. You'd think that maybe bringing in a dude like Nilekina who can be that 11th to 15th man probably will play a couple minutes per night here and there. Um, you know, might get a fair bit of minutes when a couple players gets injured. Or, he's the other opportunity now for him to come in and get big minutes, especially if he has to guard maybe a potential dude like James Harden or Kyrie Irving. Because for some reason inside, I have a feeling they're going to need a player like him long term to, you know, maybe just bring some heart. Like, that's all Nilly Keenan needs to do. Like, look at Patrick Beverly. He made a career out of just pissing certain players off putting in heart into the game and being an above average defender. He's not a good scorer, he's not a good playmaker, he's not that good of a shooter. The, what he does best, again, is he's got a lot of heart, he's got a lot of leadership, and he can piss off players. If you're Frank Nilekina, who has shown to have a lot of good defense here and there, go out and do that. Get under the skin of James Harden. You know, piss him off, do that. 
that will get you a big contract in the NBA. Like, Patrick Beverly got $13 million per year out of it, and he's still on that contract to this day, playing for the Timberwolves now, where he's being asked to bring some leadership and defense and hope to their franchise at the moment. Why can't Frank Nolikina do that? I think there is a big opportunity for him to come in right now and prove to teams that, hey, I'm still an alright player, and if you pay me right, I could be, you know, a good role player for your team. I could do, you know, this and that, you know, if, if you're giving me a contract here and there. And again, he's, give, he's given Dallas a chance, and they've given him a chance to prove himself. Like, I, I think he could have gone overseas and... Probably got a pretty big contract from someone. Definitely not as much as what he'd probably get in the NBA, but I'm sure he could be a legit elite player in some team overseas or something. But he's come, he's staying in the NBA, which is really, really good. I'm I'm loving to see this. I'm hoping the best for Frank Nilekina, especially, you know, after it would be kind of cool to maybe see him, I guess, develop as a as a nice player, especially after the Knicks kind of lost so much faith in him for so long like they never really gave him that legitimate starting season i don't believe actually they might have given it, it to him once but hey he was never gonna be like a shooter or anything like that you wouldn't think in the nba i think he could develop it over time but it's just like just do what patrick beverly does and you'll get a contract in the nba piss off some players get under their skin you know just show what you can do and teams will love that from you so that's all he's got to do. If he does this, he'll get a long-term deal in the NBA. If not, he'll probably get waived and Dallas will just go out and sign a veteran. But they've given him a chance to prove himself. So I hope he can do it. Uh, I don't think Knicks fans are rooting for him. I think Mavericks fans will be. But hey, uh, I'm sure he definitely has the potential to be able to do something. If you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Of course, please don't forget to go and check out my new podcast channel, which I'll be uploading a bunch of different clips and whatnot from all my podcasts and stuff. Again, I believe this video will be coming out before that podcast does. So again, yeah, I'm doing a podcast with one of my, with one of my mates, which will be coming out, um, I believe, on the 21st. So if this video is out before the 21st, then yeah. You guys have just gotten and seen a little sneak peek from the podcast. So, uh, be thankful, I guess. I don't really know. But yeah, go and subscribe to my gaming channel. Subscribe to my IRO slash vlog channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions on this down below. What do you guys think about the Dallas Mavericks signing Frank Nellikina? Do you guys think it was a good idea? Do you guys think it's a bad idea? Can he prove himself in the NBA? Of course, I would very much like to know all of your thoughts and opinions. But as I was saying, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.